Hello friends, welcome back to our Softwiz YouTube channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer in USA. Today uh, I am going to create Redis cache into Azure and uh, we will integrate with uh, API and see that um, if we are able to see any performance gain or not. Uh, and we will use some sample data for country and state. And if uh, you want to see more basic details about caching and other things, my friend has shared a lot of video on this channel. So you can see that one. So uh, let's go and create quickly on that one. Then I will create one sample application and see. So this is uh, my subscription. Uh, if you do not have any subscription, you can create a free subscription. I have created uh, my res uh, my one resource group for Redis Cache demo. And now I'm going to create the resource. So if I go and say that Redis, then I see that Azure Cache for Redis. And uh, once I'm going to create this one quickly, and then it is asking as usual the subscription name where the resource group age and then it is asking what is the name will be there so let me put that one this will be the fully qualified dns name for that one so that we can use which is reason we are want to deploy that one so we can go what is the type of um, caching and that depends upon what pricing you are going to pay so we can go for basic also 250 mb cache and we can go for whatever required for us and right now i'm going with basic only so and then for that uh, security purpose you can enable that connectivity and other things right now enabled as a public endpoint so i can go with that one and let me select default version of that redis and then i can go ahead and create that one so now as it is creating i can go ahead and create few more things for this demo let me go ahead and create one uh, SQL server where our data will be there. So I am going to create that Azure SQL. So um, our Redis cache and SQL database and then uh, this uh, our app services is being deployed. Once it is come up, uh, then we will populate some data and then see that one. Redis is still being created. So it takes some time. So till that time, what I'm going to do that I'm going to connect our SQL database and going to populate uh, that some of the country and this one. So right now, if we go into this one, there will be no tables right i just created that database so there will be no tables yeah there is no table so i have found some script over there for countries and other things let's run that one quickly
Okay, so this will be kind of query we are going to write. This is the thing. Let's go back and see that our cache, uh, Redis cache is deployed. Okay, so Redis cache is deployed right now. And when we go to, uh, we can import export data also. There are a lot of things we can do. And we can go to con console also and we can play out with that one. Uh, this is the console where we will going and seeing that one. So this is the screen we will see that where we can set up the scale setting and right now we have set up the basic one we can go and set up depending upon which plan we want to like how much data we have and other things like geo replication we want to set up or virtual network we want to or firewall whatever we want to do we can do that one and um, this this all the setting we can do okay so let me disable this one because i'm going to use without ssl for now I do not have that one so and this is the tall secret uh, we we are going to use that one so let me create one console application so the, right now our data is ready we have this one so let me try to uh, build that api and then we can see So this is the sample application I have created right now. This is the API application where uh, we have controller and we have we are taking our uh, we, uh, we have used that stack exchange Redis connection package where we are integrating all this that okay uh, we have, we have connection with Key Vault where our SQL connection string and cache connection strings are kept and then we are taking and using that we are getting that Redis database and then we are. Uh, we have four API calls get country all country from database which is directly going to database hitting that one and returning that one and we are also writing all these details in telemetry that how much time it has taken because when you call from uh, browser or any other place the network time is also going to be taken uh, major right so we cannot really basically know how much time actually our code is taking right so uh, this this log can give much information, real information that how much time it is going to in database and getting the data, how much time it is going to take your logic and other thing. Similar to second is there that we are hitting that uh, uh, DB for uh, Redis DB and then we are getting that our key that if data is exist then return that one by deserializing. So we are doing deserialize also. So that may affect a little bit time. Similar for a state also we are passing country code and then we are returning all this uh, right now in our DB uh, we have around uh, 250 odd country and only a uh, few of state and we do not have any load on database so it will be pretty fast for responding our direct DB calls also and when we integrate with Redis it will be uh, same because we do not have much database but let's see that one so this in telemetry we can see and once we deploy this one uh, so and I have connected and deployed that one into our Azure uh, API app so we, we can go and see that one this is our app 
uh, which we created and if we go and in, I have enabled all to swagger so when we go into swagger and see that then we can see all this API which is um, there so I can go and see that one from here in network tab also that how much time it is taking so if I click this one uh, with uh, database integration how much time it is going to take and the same thing I can see that one uh, for which is coming from CAS so that way we can see that one that how much time it is taking one way to see that one but it does not give uh, much difference because it includes the network time also which is going from uh, this machine to server and then bringing back all that your network speed and other thing that all depend upon that one right so we we have to give uh, take the consideration of all that so if I put that one, I can see some of the data is coming. So we can see that some of the data is coming. If I will go caching wise also, if I try it out, then I can see some of the data is coming, right? Let's see. So yeah, same data is coming from caching also. So that, that way also we can figure out something is being called and what is there, which we had de deployed and how much time it is taking for that one. And I is told that that include network time and other things so that does not give much input. But if you see that our code that I have uh, written into telemetry also that how much time actually it is taking. So we can go into our app inside which uh, we have created with that all the resource groups and other things so app inside. So this is our app inside which is linked on that one. So if we go into uh, search one and see that what trace we have written so we can see that uh, this whatever time is being taken from each call right so we can see that there is a minor minor improvement that when we are getting a state by country code from database then it is taking 0 point something uh, 37 or something and when it is taking from cast some improvement is there little bit from more much because there is no much data right now so that there we cannot see that very a much different uh, performance gain but still we can see that a noticeable difference will be there and uh, if we see another call that get all country from database then that also takes 37 something 32 something and it must, takes a little bit less on that on that side also uh, and similar to that one so if we see that one more data will come from that one and we can see more that okay how much time it is taking from when we call direct database and when we call that one from uh, caching. So I have also set up from different places that uh, to ping that one to see that how much different is there. So if we see that get ablative, I have set up that one that something will be pinged from central US East to US and other things. So how much time it is going to take. But basically that this log will get uh, give uh, information saying that one, okay, how much time actually it is taking because this does not include network timeout, uh, network thing from call and other things. So uh, because we have very large, less data and we have only uh, 54, if we see that one for this state which we have entered in India, there is only three state we, we have. And for country also, if we see there, there is only uh, 239 records is there so there is very less record so that uh, the performance gain will be very less but still we can we can see that when this is how we can integrate uh, and if you see that integration that we are using a stack exchange ready uh, uh, package and we are connecting using con that one and then we are getting the database which database we are using into Redis and then get set we can do using string get set so that is easy to integrate on that one and similar this is the performance we are able to see that one that okay some millisecond of difference is there into call so this is the whole call if we go do not select that trace only all the call will come dependency will come and other things how much time it is taking for dependent calls and other things inside that one so we can see all the details and in trace only we can see that how much time it is taking for direct calls so this is that difference so th this is what i wanted to share with you all guys that how much time this uh, uh, and how to create the redis cache into azure portal how we can integrate as uh, simple that okay how we can integrate with our dotnet code and then how we can 
see the performance benefit in some conditions right so we can see from network tab also that how much performance we are going dating that one by calling that api we can we can ability test we can do we can telemetry that one so that is how we should be able to judge that one that what to do in which condition thank you very much thank you